good morning everyone welcome back to the channel hello if you're new thank you for joining us um a bit of a different one today because i'm dropping carson off at nursery <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I do know how I feel about it. I feel really sad, really guilty. Um, but I am ready to go back to work and do something that I enjoy, do something that is just for me outside of being a mum that I'm good at. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my brain going again. Um, I'll be going back to university next week and then work the following week. So it's all kind of happening at once. Um, Carson has had three settling in sessions at her nursery prior to today. Um, so we did like an hour where I just stay and play with her and go through some paperwork. And then I dropped her off for an hour and a half and I felt really bad because she had quite a few tears when I came to pick her up. They said that she, she'd she been quite up and down. Um, yeah, and then after that, I dropped her off for two hours, which was a bit better. And today, um, I'm just dropping her off now. She's gonna be there for the whole morning. Um, so she's not going in for like whole days just yet um i thought i'll give her a couple of weeks of just doing like five hours there um i thought it would help her settle in a bit more um and i'm obviously at home i'm not at work yet so the plan is when i go back to work starting from then she'll be doing full days um i'm really nervous about it just because the routine is a bit different from what we're doing at the moment and I don't really know how she's going to adjust, how we're both going to adjust. So yeah, it's a lot, a lot of things are going through my mind. But I'm just thinking now, what am I gonna do? <laughs> what am I gonna do with my morning? Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll keep you posted. <sighs> oh no, bless her. She was really unsure when I dropped her off just now. She looked pretty grumpy. So I'm feeling bad, but they're just about to have breakfast and um, they're having toast and she absolutely, the girl loves toast. So um, I'm hoping that will cheer her up a little bit. But for now, let's go to b and I'm gonna try and like distract myself. I try and cheer myself up. So we'll see if they've got any Halloween goodies. Okay, I am back and I've decided that having a child in nursery while I'm not yet back at work is probably the most expensive thing I've ever done. <laughs> not just because of nursery fees in themselves, but um, I've done some shopping, obviously. B&M was really disappointing. I came out with a new plug-in and some Vanish. So that's how that went. Um, so basically, we're having like this really awkward weather at the moment where it's hot but it's like wet and rainy and windy but hot like i'm sweating right now from walking around all the shops so basically i had a bit of an unexpected expense this week or this month and that was carson's clothes for nursery so i just realized that she only has like pretty dresses and tights and she's only like just within the last week started crawling um so i'm like oh i don't really want to send her to nursery in like these dresses that are going to get like all in her way when she's trying to like crawl and stuff um and then all the like more comfortable clothes that i had are like not for this season so i'm really struggling with like this in between weather and where she's there like monday to friday I need to have at least five outfits for her. So I sent her in like a top and leggings today, which is fine. So I bought her some clothes. Um, so I went to M&S and Primark. So I got her, I got her like this top with these leggings and I really like her in like this dusky pink color. Um, so this was 10 pounds um, and I got it in a nine to 12 months. Oh, I didn't realize the little knees. Oh, they're cute um but then i thought these leggings would be quite handy because i can like mix and match with other things so yeah this is like the kind of 
material she needs to be in like right now um, and then I also picked up from m and um, this sweatshirt that says do what you love and always blooming uh, I thought it was really cute I love like this pink and this blue together and then I went to Primark and then I got her as a little set um, so I've got this hoodie um, again she really suits like this like these muted colors she really suits so I've got like this sweatshirt with the bow and then it came with these gray like ribbed leggings um, and these were in a size 9 to 12 months and these were nine pounds she's had a massive growth spurt at the moment she's always been like at least a month or two behind in her clothes so she's 10 months now and she's only just started going into nine to 12 months but she's had a growth spurt and she's literally just about to outgrow all of that now so great um so that's one outfit and again like if i wanted to i don't think this would particularly go but if i really wanted to i could go like like and then like this sorry this is really hard to show you <laughs> or i could do like that with that you see what i mean and then i got these really cute like dungarees how cute are these um i think she'll look really sweet in that she's never been in dungarees before she's had dungaree dresses but nothing like that um, so this is in a 9 to 12 months and this I thought was quite expensive for Primark it was £12 which for Primark I would expect it to be maybe like 8 or £9 but I think she'll get quite a lot of wear out of those anyway just some ordinary like jean leggings jeggings in a 9 to 12 months these were £3.50 and again like if I really wanted to I could always take like the top out of that and like yeah this was my thinking behind spending all of this money <laughs> and then um i got her like this really cute sweatshirt so this is actually in a 12 to 18 months again i thought she could wear it quite oversized for now and then it will still last her um they did they do have a table of like all of these sweatshirts with matching joggers but I wasn't really a fan of the sweatshirt and joggers look. I prefer like leggings. Um, and I also don't like things to be too matchy matchy. So I only picked up the sweatshirt, but you could get the matching joggers if you wanted to. So these were £2.30. Like you can't really say no, can you? And then for now, I'm going to put her in that and that. And then just for myself, I picked up some um, more slim straight jeans in a size 12 only because i've been wearing a wide leg recently and i just don't think it suits my body shape i think i'm more suited to a slim straight versus like a wide leg or a mum jean um so i needed some more of those and then i also got i have some of these already but i have a primark um large storage box um i have this already <laughs> this is how exciting my life is guys i recently organized my underwear drawer and i'm now going to do my sock drawer because at the moment um i have some built-in wardrobes um and i have like quite big shelves where i've just chucked everything in but i wanted this to like go inside oh okay this was much bigger than what i thought i had bought whoops i don't know if that's gonna fit Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> How does that work? Well, what I'll do, guys, is I'll um, attempt to try and put it together and then show you. <laughs> but for now, um, so I just had a little update from the nursery. So um, I've got like this app where the nursery put in like what Carson's doing and like what time she was dropped off and when I'm picking her up and stuff. And she slept for an hour and a half, which um, I've been saying to everybody all along, the thing I'm most worried about is that she's not gonna sleep there. Um, she didn't eat her breakfast. She just nibbled at it and she had toast as well. Um, she didn't really eat her breakfast, um, but she has slept for an hour and a half. So, 
that's really good for her because sleep we struggle with sleep enough as it is in her own home with me um let alone with absolute strangers in a completely new and weird place so i'm really proud of her <laughs> but um for now i've got like an hour until i need to pick her up so i'm gonna <laughs> rearrange my sock drawer <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a good first day at nursery? <coughs> Did she have a good first day at nursery? <laughs> you crazy lady. Crazy lady. Hey guys, here we are, me and Carson, watching Daddy at football. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Sam is a football coach. Um, so it was a really nice day, so we just laid out a blanket with some books and chilled in the sunshine. And we won, <laughs> yay. Also, look at this butterfly. It like landed right on Carson's toy. Cute. Go on, Go on. Hello, I just got finished having my lashes done. They're a little bit stingy at the moment. Um, lashes done. Um, I'll get my hair done next week, so that's half the glow up. <laughs> Today it's Friday. Um, I started this vlog on Monday, I think. Um, so I dropped Carson off at nursery today. This is her... Um, fifth day and we had no tears guys no tears for the first time this week she went and she was quite happy to go inside they've um they've just updated the app with a little picture that i need to have a look at but yeah i'm just on my way home now to get the place sorted nice and clean for her so i can actually spend time with her when she comes home um, instead of having to tidy up and stuff. But yeah, I'm really, really proud of her. It's, I guess, taken like hardly any time at all for her to settle in. Really, really proud. She's doing really well. My big girl. Um, the weather is miserable, like seriously miserable. So I've got to try and find a way to keep her entertained indoors somehow. Yeah, lots of toys, lots of Miss Rachel. <laughs> Make a pumpkin spice latte with me while I tell you guys basically where I've been and what I've been up to. Um, so um, the, w the way that I make lattes at home is I just microwave the milk and then I put the espresso in after. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I thought I'd just tell you guys why I haven't been around prior to putting up this video and where I've been. And honestly, I have just been, one, lazy. Um, it's not so much the filming part that's difficult, it's the editing. And I think it's because I literally just film everything. Um, so I have like as much content as possible, I guess, um, to show you guys. And then I try and like whittle it down as much as possible. But that's like honestly the longest part of everything. Um, so first of all, that is where I've been. But um, I basically um, haven't uploaded anything in two months. But the last video that you guys had from me I actually filmed that like quite in advance to uploading it so it feels like it's been even longer for me since I last caught up with you spent time with you guys um yeah and I feel like I am a broken record and I literally just keep saying that in every video but um the kind of second answer to where have I been is as you guys know Carson's in nursery now and my maternity leave is very quickly coming to an end so I've basically just trying to 
trying to be like as present as possible with Carson. Um, it's really not sinking in um, like how, I mean, you know, like this days, you always know that this day is coming, but it's when it kind of, when you kind of realize this is our last Wednesday, this is our last Thursday, um, this is our last morning. Um, that's when it really like creeps up on you even more, I think. But yeah, I've basically, I've honestly just been trying to be present with her and enjoy our time. Um, hence, uh, not filming. Where I left the last video, I said, oh, I'll be back very shortly. I'm probably gonna film the next video now. And I did do that. Um, but I guess I kind of hit like a bit of a, what is like, I guess I kind of hit a bit of a, like a creative block where I did film bits and pieces for you, but I didn't like it. Um, I wasn't happy with it. Didn't really want to chuck it up. Um, so what I do actually have is I have lots of like little bits and pieces of footage of like the last couple of months um, of things that me and Carson have done, like our classes and things like that. But it would, if I kind of put it in one video, it would just be very like higgledy piggledy and it would be like one minute we're at a sensory, one minute we're at the farm, one minute I'm shopping. And it's like, none of it was me talking to you. I guess it was like this part that I was lacking. So I'm sorry about the really aggressive like time jump from my last video to now, but I kind of hope that explains things. <laughs> 10 out of 10 by the way, guys. Um, I have also been over on TikTok a little bit recently. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing with TikTok, but if you guys want to follow me and want to see what I've been posting on there, I will make sure I link um, where you can find me in the description. So that's also what I've been doing. And I've been really surprised because for the last two weeks, while um, Carson's in nursery, she's been doing like eight till one. Um, and it was kind of like always part of the plan that I was going to have the mornings to kind of get everything in order before I go back to work. Um, I have not done anything that I've wanted to do. Um, I wanted to like do a really deep clean of the house. I desperately, desperately need to declutter and I just haven't done anything. I feel like I've been really busy. I also feel like I've been busy doing nothing, if that makes sense. But yeah i just um today is wednesday i've only got thursday friday and the weekend i'm back at work full time from um monday and i just haven't done anything that i've needed to do apart from my underwear drawer so that's fun um yeah up and at them this morning guys um it's like 8 30 in the morning um so carson's been dropped off at nursery i've just sent off a vintage parcel um, been to Lidl Bakery, my uh, latest fixation, I think it's like an autumn thing, um, just uh, picked up a um, couple of pastries, I could have bought everything in there but I had to draw the line somewhere so I went for a butter croissant and a chocolate croissant, um, otherwise I could have bought everything, the cinnamon rolls there are so 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 good, um, but I'm just outside um, the hair salon um, for my hair appointment um you know when generally when my hair needs doing one because i've got a really bad roots obviously but um i just tie it back and i like never wear it down um so this is my like interim <laughs> hairstyle uh, i'm getting a full head of highlights and then i need a toner as per because not only is my hair dark but it's really 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 dark um so i'm like 45 minutes early for my appointment but there was just no point in me driving backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards um like to go home and stuff so i'm just gonna eat my pastries in the car um luckily the hair salon's like right near carson's nursery i need to pick her up at one and my appointment's at 9 15 so i don't know if i'm gonna have time to get it cut or not today i'll i'll have to ask her but yeah 
um i've only got a couple more days left of my leave so i'm just trying to do like everything <laughs> hello i um realized i completely forgot to show you the finished product of my hair um and this is probably not the best way of showing you but thanks to tiktok i recently found out that i have irish no. hair which is basically where you get these like i wouldn't they're not curls are they? <gasps> they're like waves like underneath my hair but like this top layer is like almost straight but yeah <laughs> um today is sunday tomorrow i'm back at work uh. um <laughs> um i feel really really you listening to me i feel really really um sad and emotional i'm just trying to like take in everything and just be with her as much as possible i'm sorry this vlog has been really quite boring and not a lot has really gone on but it was kind of like more important for me to just kind of document um these last few days but yeah tomorrow is gonna be a bit crazy i'm working um in the morning and then i'm actually going to see the jonas brothers after that um so you're gonna be a good girl for nanny and daddy um so that's why i'm looking a, a bit sun-kissed <laughs> um but yeah i am just feeling very emotional to be honest um i know i'm still gonna have weekends and evenings with her and i'm go obviously gonna have days off work but it's just it's the end of an era so i think what i'll probably do then um what we'll do is we're gonna end the vlog kind of on that note and um the next time i see you i hope i have some more fun interesting things to show you Thank you for um, sticking around to the end. We really appreciate it. <laughs> but um, I hope you have a good day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Yay! <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs>